Hello everyone, so in today's tutorial I will be sharing with you how to make a dripping effect like this in Canva. So let's start with it. So I will be choosing YouTube thumbnail as my canvas. So before starting I will request all of you to please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update from DLC Ventures India. So let's start with it. So for making this effect possible, we need to use a uh, image which I'll be getting from freepick.com and this is the image. You can download it for free from here. Okay, and I have already downloaded it and I will be using that. We will use this image, but before using this image, we need to use some scales in here to make the design a perfect one. So I will use the scale first one will be 123. Next will be 1157. And I will explain everything with you why I am using this scale and what exactly is the work of this skill okay so next will be 456 456 or 457 just uh, align it with it and next will be 525 just align and after that we can just bring the elements in here so 524 it is happening okay so first by bringing the canvas here and make it bigger okay so as you can see it is adjusted here and after that use the background remover icon Okay, so background is removed. After that, we will just bring the element in here. So I have recently used this element which you can get from the keyword drip. And go to graphics and click on see all and use this effect. Okay. So this is the icon which I will be using and let's zoom in and just adjust it so that the icon is usable. So now the adjustment is done. Okay, now change the color of the element in here to a bright color. And I prefer to be a bright green in color. Okay, so when it is done, click on Ctrl C to copy and paste it in the next one. Okay, so the pasting is done. And now I don't need the scale. So I am just removing them. And I need to just delete the element from here and I need to copy the main image. So I will duplicate it and I have pasted it right here and I will just cut it by clicking on Ctrl plus X or you can just right click to copy it but I prefer it to cut it directly so I will click Ctrl plus X on the keyboard and use it in the third page okay and now I will go to share and download it as PNG I will download only the second page okay and click on download
so the downloading is done now i will come to another app which is photopia and it is free to use okay and i will just upload the element in here and click on the layer here and go to magic wand icon okay as you can see it in here and click on the element and hit the delete icon in the keyboard to make it transparent so as you can see it is transparent in here and now i will go to file export as png click on save so the saving is done now i will go to canva again and i will just come to the first page because second page is now not required okay now i will just come to the first page and i will just upload my image which i just completed designing in photopia okay now i will just upload it and make it to the same side of the canvas okay so as you can see it is done here now i will just bring the layer from the next page and paste it right here and after that i will just crop it okay so now it is done here okay now you we don't need the page 2 also so we'll delete it and now for the first page i will go to share and download it again as png why i have downloaded it again i will show you because you might think that the design is done but we can't change the background as you can see it is white in color and we don't have any thing to possible to change the background so we need to download it again and we upload it okay and we'll go to add page bring that in canvas and make it bigger but we will crop out some parts because we need to show you the background change in here so to change the background we need to add a new color and we'll go to gradient and by going to gradient we will click on this color second color and we will bring something in sea green shade or the turquoise shade okay and i will use this one this circular gradient icon i will be using and this time i will remove the background okay so now the effect is done but i will make it slightly smaller and make it in the middle okay so when that is done i will just go to elements again click on shadow go to graphics and here i will be using this one this icon which is drop shadow but this is only to use for canva pro you can download it from any other third party site and use it okay if you don't have a canva pro so i will be just bringing it in here make it smaller
and just middle it okay so the design is done here now we don't require even the first page and the design is done so as you can see the dripping effect is done properly and you can make the same effect if you follow my whole tutorial and make it for yourself hope you like this tutorial and let me know in the comments which tutorial you want to see next thank you